everyone in this video we'll see how to download and install bluej okay so for that uh, what we have to do is we have to open uh, the browser and in my case uh, i have google chrome so i've opened that browser and here as you can see in the url you have to type this okay www.bluej.org once you type this url you will this page will open so on this page since I'm working on Windows platform, uh, so I'll choose this. If you're working, if you have a Mac or Ubuntu, then you can choose any of these options. But since I have Windows, so I'll choose this and you will click on this, okay? So when you click on this, it will open something like this. And you do not have to change anything here. You can click on download, okay? So once you click on download, it will start downloading. And uh, depending on the speed of your uh, internet connection, it should not take you more than five to seven minutes okay but again it depends on the internet speed okay so in my case it just took me two to three minutes to download it since i've already downloaded it so i'll not choose download from here i'll just cancel it okay and once you download it once the download is complete what you'll do is you will go to the downloads folder okay and in the downloads folder as you can see we have here okay so i've already downloaded you can see this uh, blue j windows 412 okay so once you see this you will double click on this okay so once you double click you will get this message okay so uh, now you get this message and then what you have to do is you have to click on next okay so when you click on next it will uh, install just for you or install to for all the users on this machine so i'll just choose the first one and then next click on next now leave it as it is that means it wants to create a program a menu shortcut it wants to create a desktop shortcut and we will just leave it leave these options as it is we will not be changing them then click on next again leave it as it is do not change anything here and click on next okay and then after that click on install so once you click on install now it will start installing bluej so this might take some time okay so uh, let it install uh it, it should complete and it is saying please wait while the setup okay after that it uh, gives this message just click on yes so once you click on yes see how fast it is and uh, it is installing all the files uh, which we need and um, for installing bluej you do not need to have jdk jdk is part of bluej okay so all you need is to install bluej only okay so you should let it complete and uh, not cancel it uh, okay we are almost done see how fast then we click on finish so once you click, click on finish it has been installed now where can you see it let's go to programs now here we can find see the blue j icon here and um, it has created now from here what we can do is we have to click on this one blue now it will open bluej for us and um, here it opens like this this is version 4.1.2 and see so this is how your first screen looks like here and uh, once you have the screen you may not see these okay i'm seeing these but in your case this area might be blank okay now what you have to do is you have to create your first project okay before you start with anything you have to create your first project so for that you will click on project new project and then you will type the name of the project let's say uh, my first blue j project you can give it any name i'm just choosing to give it this name my first blue j project and where you want it give the location i let it be in d drive and say okay so once you say okay so this will open like this now see this is what you will get this is a new blue j project and see here we have got the new blue j project now here i'll show you how to create your first class so you can click on this new class button and then type the name of the class let's call it test and say okay so you get this icon right click on this open editor okay and once you open the editor again maximize the screen and you get these comments multi-line comments we can remove them or we can leave them doesn't make any difference i'm removing them delete this code we don't need it delete this code and delete these comments again and in the end you should be left with this one method only change the return type of the method to void you can change the name of the method you can give it any identifier i can i'm calling it cal and here we do not need to pass anything this is our first program and here i'll simply 
print hello okay so system dot out dot print and then uh, let's say hello from blue j okay and uh, that's it save it by pressing control s then compile it you should get this message no syntax errors once you get this message minimize this and after that right click on this choose this option new test you will get this window say ok do not change anything here we don't need to once you do ok you will get this right click on this and then choose this method void can once you do that you will get this output window this is called terminal window and you will see the output of your program ok so this is how you can run your first blue jay program and guys if you've not really already subscribed to my channel please do so please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon and please click on the like button thank you